All right, guys, welcome back. So we're Meet continuing you the on. Room, my friend. So from last time we did the Blood of the Reach quest, and we have to go to the Dwarven Ruin, wherever that is. Wait. Okay, over there. How do we get there? I mean, I was actually just about to just jump off the cliff and make it to the other side, but this works too. Probably make it to 2,000 champion points by uh, 2021, <laughs> the end of it. Okay. Well, there you are. We have a problem. This is where Rada and Lady Belaine entered the structure, but I can't find any way to open the doors. I suspect this may be why they needed the keystone. Ah, good question. Let's look around. Not all of the ruin remains intact. Portions have crumbled over the ages. Perhaps we can find a path through the rubble. Just be cautious. I've seen both constructs and shadowy creatures prowl in this ruin. The constructs are dwarven and expected. The shadows, some sort of beings made of inky darkness, Ugh, quite unsettling. And potentially dangerous. Something unusual has taken hold of this place. Reach magic strikes me as wild and unpredictable. Arana clearly shares a strong connection with the ebb and flow of the spirits, though. She might have sensed these creatures, but I suspect something else caused her distress. The source of these shadow beings, these shades, I sense a corruption, a void. The longer I'm close to it, the more I suspect it may be the very thing that drew Rodda and Lady Belaine here in the first place. Stay alert, my friend. I wish I could say for certain. I've done precious little reading on Dwarven Ruins. I do seem to recall the name Arkzand being connected to a university, a library. This place does have a sort of academic look to it, don't you think? I've seen nothing Dwarven in their manner or appearance. Dwarves were meticulous scholars, their constructs, their architecture. Everything was precise and controlled. These shades are like wild animals. Whatever spawned them may not be Dwarven at all. Search for an entrance. This actually looks really nice. I wonder, is that thing down there discoverable or? crafting stations. My god, like it's so cool that they did this, but the fact that if the set is ever good, people are just gonna get the ethereal ascension. Is that good? Let's see, what does it do?
Armor. Block, sprint, dodge, break free. That's pretty good. I don't really know what... Obviously a tank class, I guess, but... Seems like a very specific use. Discovered it though. That door is clearly locked. That strange energy. Wait, is there something on the floor? That parchment appears relatively fresh and intact. What does it say? The Library of Arkzand. Hmm, interesting. I assume a dwarven library houses more than simply books. Anything else of pertinence written there? A dark relic. Hmm, that sounds ominous. And quite likely related to the darkness that Arana sensed, and I now feel as well. That could be the source of these shades. Anything else? The void portals, a dark relic resonating power, and strange shades. We can't let any of this fall into Rada and Lady Belaine's hands. Let's see what we can find on the other side of this structure. Slow. That's a strange looking shard. Why would you touch it? Another note and a strange shard. What do you think, my friend? Interesting. The shards remind me of something torn from the darkest corner of oblivion. As unsettling as that object is, I think we should hold on to it. Especially if we can use it to navigate the void portals. I suggest you try to use a shard to propel yourself through one of the void portals. The risks are significant, but if we can turn these strange pockets of energy to our advantage, we have to attempt it. Press E while targeting the void portal to travel to it. Look up there, between the columns. You see that portal? Oh my god, that, that that is so cool. Make that a permanent thing, game. Oh, that is cool. Make it a cla thing for, like, sorcerers, too, because that makes sense. This is... impressive. Pog. This place. I had no idea. I knew the dwarves created some magnificent structures, but this is amazing. And look, more of those void portals in the higher portions of this. The only word that comes to mind is cathedral. Until we find the source, I can only speculate. We need to locate it, learn more about this energy, and determine the true nature of these shades. If Rada and Lady Belaine can harness this dark energy, I hate to imagine what they could accomplish. The longer I spend in close proximity, the more I pick up from the shades. 
I sense fragmented thoughts and raw emotion. They remind me of pure rage and unbridled pain. But... Shades. I sense their presence in every dark corner. Keep going. Path ends here, but there's a door up above. We need to find a way to reach it. With the path ahead blocked, our only mm -hmm. an excellent danger. I, I understand how to. How close do I? Have to be? Stand, but sure. Reach the level on the door on the upper level. Fell out of the map and it sent me back to the entrance. Appears to be some sort of containment apparatus. And there's God a shade trap at the center. Oh no. Another uh, sheet of parchment. Bring puzzles. it here. Might that be another observation by the Grey Host Pentarch? What secret? Of course. Very well. That's it. Keep repositioning the crystals to reflect the energy.
That did something. Try to connect the crystals at all four corners of the room. Is happening. Uh, try activating the remaining two platforms. Why do you do it? This one doesn't even make sense. What? Um, maybe that one goes straight ahead, and then this one turns that, points that way. I think I understand it. That's it. Keep repositioning the crystals to reflect the energy. Excuse me? Did that literally reset my entire puzzle? something. Try to connect the crystals at all four corners of the room. Oh, God, dude. This game is like full of bugs. Fell out of the map once. Puzzle reset. This is actually... I can't send help. How did I do it before? Happening. Uh, try activating the remaining two platforms. That's it. Keep repositioning the crystals to reflect the energy. Maybe we can't touch the lasers. I kind of want to test something. So if you void across it, it resets the puzzle. That did something. Let me try guess. to connect the crystals at all four corners of the room. Something is happening. Uh, try activating the remaining two platforms. Huh. Wait, hold on.
This should go straight ahead to hit the fourth one, yeah? Or maybe this one will go across. Yeah, this one is pointing down. Dude, I'm so scared of it resetting. Where does that one even go? Okay, so... Let me see. Start here, connect one, two, three, four. God, I can't use, I can't rotate it. Uh, this game is broken. <laughs> Even talk to the NPCs because I can't rotate any crystals. The key to free. I think I screwed up something along the way. <laughs> I legit can't move anything. Nothing turns. It's not even connected, but it's still going. Let me uh, try. Logging out, logging in again.
Yeah, it failed because it literally broke. Servers going down again. Are they doing emergency maintenance? What's weird is uh, yesterday when the official launch came out, um, NA, we had our maintenance done. It was just fine, but EU got delayed for some reason. Not really sure why, but you would think it's the same thing. Positioning the crystals to reflect the energy. Speed run this real quick. That did something. I tried to connect the crystals at all four corners of the room. Okay, so you would think this one can, well, there's a barrier right here, which leads me to believe this is not the right one. Like, I am convinced that one right there connects to something else. How do you... I'm actually confused right now. So up until this part where it shoots down, it all is in a straight line and that makes sense, yeah? And then once it gets to this part, I'm unsure of how to connect.
Wait a second. I think I got it. It might have clicked. No, it does not work like that. Okay, so this one clicks to that one. Did it! Quickly now, question the shade before it dissipates. Such anguish, such pain. Souls trapped in Molag Ball's realm wither over centuries, but this dark heart, it stripped that creature of its vitality almost instantly. I wish it had told us more, and could have been more coherent. Yes, but apparently for different purposes. Unstable breaches in the fabric of reality, imploded chambers, trapped shades, Everything points to some terrible dwarven experiment that went astray. This dark energy is clearly powerful and dangerous. As the Shade implied, they each seek the Dark Heart for a different reason. I can only imagine what Rodder would do with such power. As for Belaine, he called her the vessel that never fills. A curious description. It must have something to do with the sky above. Perhaps constellations such as those that led us to Bathar In any event, it's evident that the dark current flowing through this place traps souls and twists them into these shades. Perhaps it does possess life of a sort. Certainly it holds a vast amount of power. Power enough that we can't allow Rada or Lady Belaine to get their hands on it. Come, my friend. Let's continue our hunt. Okay, so pretty much... Th after solving this puzzle, it's pretty straightforward up until one point, um, and that's over here. Because by default, it goes straight down. You have to make sure it connects, like, here. Um, so instead of having this one go down to here, you want to make sure it goes connect this way and then that. So there's a little wall right here where it doesn't beam um, right. Just make sure that's it. Other than that, now that I think of it, straightforward puzzle. Aside from the bugs where it just like reset a few times. Watch for signs of the Grey Host that should point us toward Rada and Belaine. Please, 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 please. please. Do you think we lost a marker? 
was using Ice Heart because I was trying to do Immortal Redeemer prog. After this patch, I swear, like everyone's DPS just tanked Stars, except for Stam. Rada and Belain, we found them. Let's listen in. The Ori of Arc Sand. The key to our salvation. It has stood here unmoving for nearly 3,000 years. You're sure the Keystone will power it, Belain? It must be ready when the time comes. The Keystone is only part of the puzzle. As you agreed, we must also awaken the Dark Heart. I gave you my word, Belain. The Greyhost will make your prophecy come true. Mm. Reach witch signs and portents can be tiresome, but they are necessary for this. The Dark Heart must beat again. And it will, Belain. Soon. With the Keystone, we can come and go as we please. Now, let us leave this place. We still have much to do before we restart the Orrery. Reach witch prophecies. What fates are you tempting now, Rodda? As we speculated, the Keystone does more than open doors. Rada and Lady Belaine plan to use it to restart the Orrery. The question remains, why? And what role does this Dark Heart play in their schemes? I'm not sure. We know the Grey Host has Reach Witches among its ranks. Perhaps a local coven has some role in all this. We need to speak with Arana. To learn about Reach Witch prophecies, you might as well go to an expert. Without the Keystone or more of those Void Portals, we can't get down into the Orrery Chamber. I'll stay here and try to pick up their trail. I need you to go to Rebels Retreat and see what you can learn from Arana. Alright, with that said, that seems like a good spot to uh, end this video, and I'll see you guys next time.